Part 1 The Beginning of Change In 1926, the Union Pacific Railroad developed a 4-12-2 three-cylinder locomotive with 67-inch main drivers in order to put a high-speed freight engine on its rails. This new locomotive was simply called the Union Pacific. The wheelbase design of this locomotive proved to be too rigid and limited the locomotive to its prairie main lines. Because of its unique three-cylinder design, maintenance costs were also deemed to be prohibitive. In an effort to create a comparable but more flexible locomotive, the Union Pacific General Mechanical Engineer Arthur Fetters worked with Alco to take a Ford-12-2 size boiler and put it over a 4664 articulated underframe with 69 inch drivers. And thus, in 1936, the first new locomotive of this wheel design was built. It was called the Challenger. Part 2. Big Things to Come The Union Pacific took delivery of 40 of these originally designed Challengers in 1936 and 1937. One of the most successful high-speed articulated locomotives ever built, the Challenger enjoyed the combined benefits of a four-wheeled leading truck, 69-inch drivers that gave it better stability at higher speeds, unlike the earlier simple articulated designs that ran only 30 to 35 miles an hour. The Challenger was a huge, powerful locomotive with operational flexibility to run both freight and passenger trains at speeds up to 70 miles an hour. The Challenger was so successful that other railroads such as the Northern Pacific, Great Northern, Spokane, Portland and Seattle, Denver and Rio Grande, Western Pacific also ordered these locomotives from Baldwin and Elko. Traditionally, big locomotives had been slow plodding machines and articulated locomotives in particular were known for power but not speed. The Challenger changed it all and paved the way for Union Pacific's famous big boy locomotive. In 1942, pressure from the massive traffic needs from the war brought on the need for more heavy locomotives. The construction of the Challenger resumed with 65 more units being built through 1944. A number of changes in the design were made. Cast steel frames, a boiler pressure increase to 255 PSI, an increase of grate from 108 square feet to 132 square feet, and a practice of using just a vertical hinge in the big boy was adopted which allowed an evening out of the weight distribution on the front and back set of drivers, thus solving a problem with the front drivers slipping in the original design. The following specifications apply to the second generation of the Challenger. Length 121 feet 11 inches, total weight 1,071,000 pounds, cylinders 4 at 21 inches by 32 inches, steam pressure 280 psi, adhesive weight 406,000 pounds, tractive effort 97,400 pounds, axle load 68,000 pounds, and maximum top speed 70 miles an hour. The railroad classification for both designs was Charlie Sierra Alpha 1 and Charlie Sierra Alpha 2. Challenger number 3985 was removed from the Union Pacific Steam Division and Excursion Service in 2020. In 2022, the Union Pacific Railroad donated the locomotive to the Railroad Heritage of Midwest America, which is said to be now restoring the 3985 to operational condition. Thank you for watching our video. Please help support the channel by visiting our print shop at nickelplatelimited.etsy.com. And please help the channel grow by hitting the like button, the subscribe button, and turn on all of your notifications so you can see all of our new videos as we upload them. Thank you once again.